The most common task that you will come across usually in managing um, a database or data science is to insert data, uh, especially for the record if you're a consultant. And um, I don't know if this will come up. I'm going to show you um, some data that I have. Uh, that's from a flat file. This is just a text file. It could be a CSV. It could be a text. Any flat file will work. But this right here is a savings rate in the United States, the United States savings rate over the years, uh, you can see. And what we want to do, um, it's a typical folder path that we have. So um, what we want to do here is do a bulk insert. We want to insert all that data into a table. And as I mentioned earlier, this will be... Um, we run into this all the time in this industry. Um, half of our job is um, inputting data into a table structure of some kind. Now in this example it's fairly easy because what we have is we have a savings date and we have a savings rate. We just have two columns and in general it can be higher than that. Um, I'm doing a var card here and the reason why I do a var card uh, when I do a, an initial bulk insert is because we may have bad data and this is something that you would prepare for. I am not I would not keep this table in the long run. Um, I'm using kind of a temp table here just for the bulk insert. Um, but I would not want to use this data for the long run because usually a flat file source or any source will input flawed data when you do an insert. And so cleaning that um, task or cleaning that data, for instance, you'll hear of ETL processes, extract, transform, load. Um, that's part of that transform task is uh, the data come, come in as one uh, as, or I should say, just as a mess. It usually enters as a mess, and we as data scientists have to clean that data so that it's presentable. And so I do VARCAR because VARCAR pretty much will take anything. And um, then we do a bulk insert. And this script right here is very simple, very short, uh, very easy. Actually, let me go ahead and create the table. Um, this is a very simple, I'm dropping the table later on too, by the way, because I don't want this table around. But this bulk insert is a very simple task. Uh, one of my colleagues at one of the companies I worked with, it took him three weeks to discover this task. He was trying to insert, I believe it was 25 million or 30 million rows of data. And this task is what he um, inserted it with. But it took him three weeks to find this. So if you happen to have stumbled across this by accident, um, be glad it didn't take you three weeks to find this. But it's just a, it's a script that will insert a flat file like a text um, or CSV. I have never tried to use it with Excel, but it might. Or you could always export an Excel file as an S a CSV and it'll do that. What we have here is the field terminator is a comma. As you can see, um, we have two rows, I'm sorry, two columns, date and rate. And what separates the column is the comma. And then we have the row terminator, which means, okay, so a row is one row, two row, three row, four row. Um, is basically a, a new line character or in this case uh, this is I believe the ASCII for it. Um, each, each file is going to be different. A lot of times a new line character will look like this I think it is. Um, that's what your new line character will be. Um, sometimes it's there's another one it's like R or slash R slash N uh, so these are just uh, the type of things that you'll be troubleshooting. Again, the var car allows, if I try to do int, it would have a problem here. Um, and it's going to insert these data. You can also have turn off the header. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, the keep on the header. And so we inserted the data. One second, and I comment this out. Okay, and then of course, uh, one of our next tasks will be to review um, the data that we received. So for instance, because we're dealing with decimals, we can, when we're cleaning our data, we can actually do savings date is not equal to one. Is it one or is it zero? Uh, one second. To zero. Okay. All right, so that doesn't actually bring back what I want. Um, 
but I've used this script as a case in point numerous times to um, where you determine whether the value is numeric or not to eliminate data that I don't want. This is actually fairly clean data in the sense that uh, what we have here is just dates and um, rates and that's these data are much better than normally you'll receive in this field in the sense that normally what I see is you know one of these dates will be just haywire someone will type in June 1st 1959 and going through that and correcting that so this is my github right here um, and you'll notice uh, for instance after I inserted it then I declared a temporary table I inserted into it and I started cleaning uh, cleaning the data here uh, these are some of the other tasks that I do um, and this is just an example that you can see for instance this right here is our rate again what I did um, is I declared another table and I showed the savings rate percent year over year and then I inserted into that I'm sorry inserted into it from another table which was a save percent and then showed the year-over-year -year savings percent so just like with all the data we've we've manipulated before you can apply functions and everything to this um, the first step would be to clean the data and then from there it's just a matter of what what needs to be reported on apply your functions apply your stored procedures and and everything like that uh, but this is by far this little script right here you will find that if you do any type of data science this script for SQL Server will come in handy because there will at least be one or two tasks in your career that will involve this if not hundreds of tasks and like I said I've, I've known people who have who have spent days trying to find just this simple script so this is one of the most useful scripts the key will be your field terminator and your row terminator